Hey, 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 welcome to another episode of Mixology Bootcamp. And I'm Scott the Grillman Grippo. And today we are going to make a fresh strawberry banana daiquiri. Okay? So let's get started with this. I love these. I've been drinking them all last Memorial Day weekend down in, at my place in Venice. Okay, so you're going to start with your blender, right? And what I have here is I have eight large strawberries cut up, okay? I got two strawberries for the garnish for the two glasses that I'm going to use. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with those, okay? Then I got a banana. And we're going to peel the banana. And I'm going to slice it into the blender in the chunks, okay? Okay, so let me move this over here, and then here I have pineapple juice. Okay, we're gonna put about eight ounces of pineapple juice in that. Okay, maybe a little bit more, eight to 10 ounces. Okay, in this container here, I have Coco Lopez. Okay, I take it out of the can and I put it in a container and I put it in my refrigerator, it doesn't go bad. Okay, so we're going to take that and we're going to put in about two ounces worth. Get all of that sweetie coconutty flavor in there. Okay, put the top back on that. Okay, and now we're going to take ice and we're going to fill it up. Pack it down in there, right? And then we got this here. I got this Calypso spiced rum, okay? Uh, I find that this is the closest thing to Captain Morgan, and it's about $10 a bottle cheaper. Okay, so this is what I use. And we're gonna put in, eyeballing it, one, two, three, four, about five shots of rum in that, okay? I'm gonna take my top, put it on, we're gonna lock it, and I'm gonna pulse it. Break up. When you hear the ice breaking up and you don't hear it breaking up anymore, you want it for about another 20 seconds. Okay, let's see. Nice and thick. And very good. Okay, so now I don't use this. This is garbage. It's a piece of crap that don't work. I just pour it. Okay, so I'm gonna fill up my glasses. Okay, a little spillage, but that's okay. Okay, and what I do is now, like this one here. I take my strawberry and I cut it up on an angle and I stick it on there like so. And then, mmm, voila. Now, what I also like to do is I like to take a little rum on mine and I put a little floater on top. Okay, give a little mix. Mm. Now that's really good. Now, the Coco Goya, or the Coco Lopez, has about 120 calories an ounce. Okay, it's not a dietetic drink, right? So, and the pineapple juice is 120 calories for 8 ounces. 
So you put in eight ounces of that, and then you got 280 calories, plus your booze, plus the fruit. So it's really not that bad, you know? Don't You don't want to use, you want to use fresh fruit. You don't want to use uh, the syrupy uh, mix, because that's probably five or 600 extra calories, okay? So I also make these without the booze as a smoothie for my daughter, okay, with just the fruit in it and, and uh, the pineapple juice. But this is it, Mixology Boot Camp. Dad can cook, season four. Speaking about season four, you know, I'm in season four, I'm going on to my fifth episode, okay? I have different episodes. I have episodes where I do the step-by-step -step cooking. I have DCC Raw where I make something from a leftover and to try to put it into a good meal. I have Test Kitchen. I have Quickies where I have everything made already and I just put it together for you. And I have Mixology Boot Camp. Okay, I, in my four seasons I have over 160 hours of cooking, video, and instruction. Okay, and in the middle of this season I'm going to start a new segment called Side Dishes. Where I'm going to be making side dishes, two or three of them at a time, per show, to accompany your meals. So stay tuned, Mixology Boot Camp, Dad Can Cook. Hey Jen.